All right, y'all. Welcome back to the Hunting and Scrapping channel. We are on location today of a cleanup job. So let's walk around. You see it. Yes, even that work van, truck body van, whatever, can go. Um, let's turn it around here and see what we got. So lots of goodies, lots and lots and lots of goodies. Let me just show you just real quick light. Washer dryer, nothing special. There's an air unit right there. Um, lots and lots of wire, all covered up in here. Uh, this is an old truck bed. Lots of electrical equipment. We've got uh, stuff on the ground, panel boxes. Um, there's a, a sickle mower right here. Sorry, it's so loud. All the leaves are on the ground. Um, number four, whatever that means. Uh, sickle mower. Still in pretty good condition. Somebody will definitely want that. A little, little hay drag there of some sort. Homemade drag of some sort. Didn't ask about the horse trailer. Uh, don't necessarily know about that. We've got two more window units right there. We've got... This old oil drum can go. We have, didn't ask about the Mustang. I believe the camper can go. We've got an old rear end here on the thing. Uh, this disc right here, but y'all check this out. I think that's been sitting there a while. So yeah, we're gonna have to do some finagling, some cutting. Uh, this old race car body can go. He wants to keep all the T-posts for fence of course um that drag can go uh, that bottom plow can go yeah lots of stuff lots of stuff i'm gonna take a look real quick he said there was some stuff inside this van that he wanted to keep so i'm gonna look just real quick it might be locked Oh yeah, yeah. There's some electrical stuff in here. Oh yeah, yeah. That's good stuff. We're not gonna mess with that. But anyway, equipment van, Ronnie Williamson store. I know you probably don't remember that. Probably not. Well, not not many of you uh, will remember that. Right there on 42 before it blew up when the gas tanks ruptured when they were filling it up. Cast iron sink. We'll grab that. Yeah. All right. You see it. Oh. You all right? All right in there? That ain't working. That just ain't working, is it? Let's get y'all to where you can actually see something. Yeah. Now we're cooking. That's the good stuff right there. The good stuff. Ooh, baby. Just pulling stuff out of here as I see it. I really, it looks like it's full of a bunch of little stuff, like just nails and all this miscellaneous stuff. I can't really get to the bottom. I don't know. Maybe we can use this tub right here, if that's a tub. Cast iron sink. I'm gonna see if I can. Oh yeah, that's not, okay, that's not heavy. We'll grab some of this stuff right here. This is a piece of duck work. Here's a piece with some wire in it. Let's grab that. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna keep grabbing. Okay, y'all, it has been a whirlwind. Really haven't got that much out of the woods. Was able to finish rolling that up there. I just found some pipe up under some leaves. That's a huge piece of pipe right there. Um, 
that's a breaker bar. <laughs> uh, so just throwing that in there. This is a bundle of, I guess, high tensile wire or something. I am really regretting having thrown that on there now because I think that is going to end up being the bane of my existence because it's going to get wrapped around everything. We can have this mower as well. It's got a, it looks like the drive shaft either broke. Um, I don't know. It might not even have broken. It might just be sitting there. Who knows? Gearbox might be bad. We'll see. We'll get it out, see what kind it is, and go from there. Just pulling out a few bits of aluminum wire. That's just really not worth that much. But I did find all that pipe in there. So we're doing that. Pulling that out. These tubs are actually really nice too, but they're probably dry rotted. Um, probably. We'll have to take a closer look. If, they're, if they start to spider web all over and, you know, that type deal. And they probably are. But we're going to finish getting this. Then we're going to ride back over here and get that window unit right there because that'll that'll give me four air conditioners to take apart and then we'll try to get that in tomorrow Whew, that's the goal all right let's keep going what are you trying to do huh hey leave them alone now ah uh -uh. quit it oh boy say good morning Hey, say good morning. Good morning. You again. Hey, quit it. So when we left y'all yesterday, got to keep an eye on these two. It's always these two. I don't get it. Hey, quit it. So when we left y'all yesterday, uh, we were still kind of loading up, still getting some stuff. Our main goal today is to get these air conditioning units apart. There's this one, this one, and there's two, like I said, I'm trying to keep that from getting tangled in everything. And there's two units. There's one right here and one on the other side. Our main focus today is to get the air units apart, get them taken to the scrapyard, and maybe just maybe process some of this wire. Most of it is the aluminum wire. So nothing too, too crazy. There are a few pieces of really nice copper but most of it is just the aluminum triplex you can tell it's silver um that's fine that's fine it's not look it's it's junk it's scrap it's going to go to the scrap yard uh however in stuff like these panel boxes there are some good bits of copper and we have several of those as well so we're going to look through all that and try to uh try to get what we can out of it so that is the plan today i don't know how much you really want to watch me taking air conditioner units apart uh it's just a lot of screws uh we've got the sealed units the um copper aluminum condensers and that's about it um you know maybe when we start taking the big one apart you know i'll set up the camera and we'll film some but uh yeah that's what we're going to be working on we're in the shade over here it's absolutely freezing absolutely freezing today so yeah we're just out here doing the thing all right y'all stay tuned y'all we have made an absolute mess so set the air conditioners out so that i took the caps off the covers off of them so i can get to them easy there's one over there one over there um aluminum wire all of our copper wire also i want somebody to tell me about this because like, this is normal copper wire right I, is this just discolored? I mean, it's definitely copper, but it hasn't been burnt. And like, you can see, I mean, look right there on the edge. Look, look right here, see? I mean, it's copper. You see the little scuffs right there? But it's so silver. It's so like, I don't know. I don't know if it's aluminum copper mix. It might be, cause those are, these were the pieces that were like the ground wires that go, um you know like right here they are the the, the mains um i don't know i've got to figure that out but anyway <laughs> excuse me we're getting there making a mess but we're getting there then we got to get that behemoth apart and then we're going to head to the scrap yard so it's going to be a while y'all hang with us we'll get there maybe we'll have us a good payday today all right let's take apart an air conditioner what do you say 
we pretty much got all the screws out of it already there is plastic holding this in which i think what we can do is if we can pull this over actually you know what the best thing to do is going to be i'll show you we're going to cut the copper off of this anyway oh, there we go there's our first piece of gold right there i think we can probably just cut that and that and maybe oh i see i see it's connected to the fan motor why did they do that Ugh. why would they do that but maybe just maybe if i can be strong enough here whoop, no we'll have to we'll have to break that off of there stand by all right it took just some gentle persuasion from the old persuasion hammer here and we got it out so what we'll do we'll come through here we'll cut all this copper off of here and um yeah if it, actually what we might do is we might come in here and cut that off and then that'll clean that'll clean the whole thing up we'll see what we'll see what transpires there especially if i can come through and do that that would really if i could bend that up then i wouldn't be hitting any metal that might really work we'll see don't want to lose any copper though that's the thing don't want to have to come back and do that so now there should be another small one on the front and there is but while we're right here we're gonna cut well actually we can just do another piece of copper another piece of copper but we're gonna have to um should have brought that over here as well no don't you fall off of there uh -uh. Uh -uh. See, this is what happens when you don't have a proper workbench that well you do have a proper workbench but it is full of other miscellaneous items as well there's a good piece of copper now Turn it around here and see. Get this piece of insulation off. Where's that running to? Oh, that's running into the other one. Okay. That's right. So let's turn this bad boy on around here. So, note to self, or not to self, to you guys, I don't ever mess with the motors on air conditioners because they're always in the squirrel cages and that gets on my nerves. And I'm not going to do that. It's just some insulation. Is there some screws on here that I'm not seeing? What is going on? There is. I knew it. I knew I had to be missing one. Now this should come right off. Did we lose our screws? No, we didn't. We didn't lose our screws, boys and girls. Can you believe it? I'm gonna drop those right there. Now we've got one more. Ah, I tell you what, for as cheap as these things are made, they sure don't want them, sure don't want them to come apart. It's for short. Now, on these little units, these things are tiny and not much to them. But what is good about them is you do get the you do get the copper aluminum condenser price. You get some nice pieces of copper, but it's just not a lot of it. So yeah. We got what we can. So we'll get the sealed unit off of there, the little black piece that's back here. And then that's gonna be it. And that one's done, folks. That one is done. Done and done. Alright. That's it for an air conditioner unit. Not much, but good stuff. All right, everybody, we are done processing pretty much everything. Number two copper, number one copper, 
We've got our sealed units scattered about. This is all the leftover wire. This is the wire that's questionable that I don't know exactly know what it is. Um, I'm kind of scared of this right here. I may end up having to take copper number two for that because I pretty, I, that's got to be like asbestos or something in there. And I just don't know if I feel like taking all that apart and getting all that asbestos everywhere uh, and all in my lungs. Aluminum wire, yeah. Not gonna strip that, was gonna strip it, not gonna do that. Then we're gonna take the blower and we're gonna blow all this off. I got a little bit of oil right there out of one of the units that tipped over, that one tipped over. And I gotta clean that up. But there's our stack of condensers. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this apart. We're gonna speed through this thing and we're gonna get that done. And then we're gonna take this whole trailer load in plus all our goodies. And I'm hoping I can squeeze in the aluminum barrel of death right here in the corner and uh, get that there as well. So we'll see. Hopefully, the next time I see you all, it'll be, hey, they're picking soybeans over there. Hopefully, it'll be at the scrapyard or headed to the scrapyard because we got to get some lunch too. All right, y'all. You're the bomb. You're the best. Keep watching. Also, I forgot to show you this. The grinder got a hold of me and it was really, really close. It just nicked me. But if I hadn't had that glove on, y'all, that, that sweet meat right there between the thumb and the hand would have been toast and that would have been a really deep cut so wear your gloves hey we made it y'all it's busy today on a friday too they're lined up let's see lined up one two three four lined up four deep he's loading the truck got another one waiting over there i'm gonna let these guys get out of the way real quick and then we're gonna start un unloading our stuff and we'll go over we'll go over everything we got so we ended up loading pretty much everything that we had we got our condensers that'll go as a condenser as well uh aluminum wire on top copper number one copper number two is in the is in there we'll get that we got the aluminum trash can of death um still got to get all this off of here as well got to go through some of this wire some of this is actually all that right there is copper um gonna see if i can sell that sink Busy day out here today. Busy, busy day. Check out all those wasp nests in there. Holy. Y'all, I am beat, absolutely beat. Um, whoa. So let's start at the top. We got a long receipt. We got a, feels like a CVS receipt right now. Shred steel, $117. Uh, our, our aluminum bucket of death, $84. That's awesome. We got old sheet, 47 cents, not bad. Copper number two, $30. Irony brass. Ten dollars, which is dirty brass. Um, our three sealed units, which I had four, took four air conditioners apart, only had three sealed units. I don't know where the other one went. Hopefully, it didn't bounce out. Um, which is crazy 104 pounds of that, and it was 23 dollars. Copper number one, 64 dollars and 80 cents. All of that aluminum wire, y'all. So much of it, seven dollars. <laughs> 
Uh, had another piece of copper. Uh, forgot to do that earlier, so that was another $29. All of our aluminum copper condensers, $37. That one spirally, spiky looking one was graded as an aluminum, so that was $12. Copper number one insulated, which just still has the coating on it, $15.30. Stainless unprepared, $6.08. That is what we did today right there. I wanted a $250 day and we almost doubled it. Now, as you know, those days don't come by very often. Those, uh, the days where I bring my copper, brass, condensers, all that stuff, sealed units, that stuff does not happen often. So today's a special day. We're gonna put that in the bank, save it for a rainy day. Um, that is, that is uh, that's a great, great payday. That's a great way to start the weekend and I'm beat. I'm absolutely beat. I'm not going to lie to you. My morning processing session of taking apart air conditioners, taking apart wire, stripping wire, um, cleaning up everything, cutting it. It was a lot. I, I basically worked from nine o'clock until 1230, um, getting all that stuff taken care of. So it's a lot of work, but well worth it. So that's what we got. We're gonna head home, make sure the pup's okay. He got a hold of a bag of corn, like deer corn, so it's just dry corn kernels. And then he got a hold of the chicken food. And he ate almost half a 50 pound bag of, so he ate like 25 pounds of chicken food. Um, the little crumbles, and his tummy's been upset. So we're gonna go home and check on him, and then we'll wrap it up. All right, we're back. Looks like everything's hunky dory. Hey, come here. Come here. I wanted to show him your neck. Show him that it's doing better. Come here. Hey, come here. His neck is healing up nicely. Looks a whole lot better. Antibiotics and having some air to it, being able to clean it out was really good. Hey, are you a good boy? Yes. You're a good boy. All right, so if we can just get his stomach figured out, we'll be good. Also, found my fourth sealed unit. I thought I threw it on the trailer, but I guess I didn't. So we're back Friday afternoon, enjoying the rest of the afternoon. Um, they're still picking soybeans over there. Kind of didn't realize how big that field was. I've obviously been by it for 30 years. Um, well, that's a big field over there. Never really realized that, but just enjoying the last few minutes. You know, the sun goes down at daggone three o'clock now. So anyway, great day today, scrapping. Awesome, awesome day. Still forgot some, still didn't take it all. Still got to figure out what I'm gonna do with that little piece. Y'all, I swear that's got to be some like nasty asbestos field. See all that stuff? Ugh. There's a lot of good copper in there, a lot. We got to figure that out. That's going to be about it. We're done for the weekend. It's supposed to rain really bad Sunday. We're going Christmas caroling with the kids from church Sunday. And uh, yeah, just going to hang out here tonight. Family stuff tomorrow. You know the deal. All right, y'all. We're going to wrap it up. That's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following along. I really appreciate you following me and my daily my daily scrap life i know it's not uh it's not always the most exciting but this is this is what it is and i appreciate you thumbs up for you all right y'all we will see you on the next video have a good weekend